What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA. All right, check it out. We got to talk more about Yasuke, all right? Yasuke, the gay black samurai. <laughs> it's so funny saying that, man. And look, y'all asked for this, all right? Y'all asked for that. All of you guys that's out there pushing, hey, man, let's have some representation. You know, we don't care if this character is really makes sense in the story that this character is in. We want the rep, all right? Rep us with a black samurai. And then they say, oh, yeah, sure, 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 you got it. Yeah, Black Samurai, no problem. We got you covered. We got you covered. All right. And then, <laughs> pow, gotcha. All right. Got him. <laughs> we going to give you a gay Black Samurai. How y'all like that? All right. And see, that's again, don't take it up with me. I'm the one that's always pushing back against this trash. All right. Y'all take that up with Ubisoft. All right. Y'all take that up with Ubisoft and yourselves. Because every time I come out here and I say, hey, look, I'm tired of race swaps. I'm tired of black people getting shoved into narratives where they don't belong. You know, this should have been a Japanese protagonist. Straight up. Give us a, an authenticity, which is what uh, Assassin's Creed has always given us. And then everybody comes back at me. Oh, man, you you hate yourself and all that kind of crap. Like, OK, no problem. No problem. Go ahead and enjoy your gay black samurai, all right? And even Elon Musk is chiming in on this. You can see on this article from That Park Place, shout out to John F. Trent. Elon Musk weighs in on Assassin's Creed Shadows featuring a potentially gay black samurai as the main character. DEI kills art. It absolutely does. I've been saying that forever. You know, when you have something where you're forcing diversity, equity, and inclusion into something that's supposed to be artistic in nature... It kills it. How can you possibly have art and, you know, oh, yeah, but we got to have forced diversity inside this art. Imagine for a moment if you had like, let's say, a musical number that you wrote down. But it's like, all right, but, you know, we got to make sure that we have the music from all kinds of different, you know, continents and countries and everything. We got to make sure that all of that kind of music fits in with this particular art piece, this musical number that you wrote. Imagine that you would that well, like what would that even sound like, you know? I mean, yeah, there's a possibility that it might come out all right, but it's never going to be what the artist really envisioned originally. And that's what art should be. It should be it's like somebody's vision. You know, you always hear me talk about George Lucas's vision when it comes to Star Wars. But these cats don't understand George Lucas's vision. So they've driven Star Wars off the side of a cliff. Same thing with DEI. If you don't understand what the vision of the artist is, you're just driving whatever it is that their vision was off the side of a cliff in order to, you know, conform to some stupid ideology. Oh, yeah. The ideology is more important than the artistic work. And then that's what we got here. That's basically why DEI fails on its face time and time and time again. It's going to continue to fail because, again, people want the art. People want the visions of the artist. And all y'all want to give us is diversity. You know, well, we got to make sure that we don't offend anybody or we got to make sure that everybody is included. And no, not everybody's going to be included in every piece of art. Don't, don't y'all understand that? Not everybody is going to be a part of, let's say, Native American art. What does that got to do with, like, some people from, let's say, Australia? Like, what would that have to do with the, the other, all right? Or, or people from um, people from Mongolia, you know? But they have their own art. They have their own style. And we should be able to enjoy that and say, oh, this is interesting. We got some art from Japan, all right? We got Japanese history. And they're giving us an artistic view of that through this video game. How interesting. Let's go ahead and play it. Oh, but we got to make sure we shove this black guy in there. It's like, come on. <laughs> it just makes no damn sense. But yeah, Elon is calling it out. Let's check this out. Uh, so Elon Musk weighed in on the possibility of Ubisoft's upcoming Assassin's Creed Shadows game uh, featuring a gay black Sarah. Just the thought of that, man. Just the thought of that. It's just so damn funny, man. Uh, Musk weighed in while responding to ex-user Ian Miles Chiang. Uh, Chiang wrote, should Ubisoft uh, delay Assassin's Creed Shadow in response to widespread backlash over the game's injection of DEI? No. All right. No. Bring it out. We want to laugh some more. All right. That's what we're looking forward to. We're looking forward to laughing at this shit. Bring it out so we can have fun joking all over it. Uh, the game is so thoroughly woke that it features a black gay protagonist depicted as a real historical samurai in Japan. Offensive beyond belief. No one asked for this. Uh, Musk replies, DEI kills art. Yeah. Here, here's the main thing what i always say who's asking for this shit right nobody is asking for this if y'all been watching my channel y'all see when i do the race swap videos i'm asking folks all the time who is asking for all of these race swaps or who is asking for black people to be shoved into narratives where they clearly don't belong like in the case of assassin's creed shadows who's asking for this 
and all the time I've never seen in the comments not one time oh man DA that was me my bad all right my bad DA it won't happen again I'm so sorry I never should have asked nobody's asking for this crap so why are we getting a, a black gay protagonist all right depicted as a real historic samurai in Japan why are we getting this oh because of the message because of DEI because this is how they want to represent you all right, this is what they want to represent you as. So all y'all cats that out here, strong, black, and proud and everything, oh, you're going to be gay too, all right? Because this is what they want to represent you as. The people that made this game. Yeah, these chicks, all right? Here's your team, right? Here are your champions, all right? Black people that want representation so damn bad. Here's the people that's going to give it to you, right? All right, your champions all across the board, all right? I guess this was taken on Women's Day. There's probably guys in here that look exactly like these chicks, all right? Probably couldn't distinguish one from the other. All right, if you went in if you went into Ubisoft out here, whatever this is, I think this was in Canada somewhere, and you found like, all right, man, let's find the team behind this. I guarantee you this these chicks and a whole bunch of dudes that look exactly like them. No masculinity in the room whatsoever, all right? And wait a minute, who is that back here? Wait a minute, who is this right here? Holy crap. Well, as I live and breathe, if it ain't your girl, Kim Belair. Kim Belair, sweet baby ink herself. Yeah, she was working at Ubisoft during the making of this game. Not surprised to see her pop up in this picture, is it? Yeah, hilarious, man. Somebody had pointed that out, man. Forgot sweet baby ink founder is a former Ubisoft employee. It's her. Yeah, it's totally her. Too damn funny. All right. But yeah, that's what it is, man. These are the people who asked for this. All right. Black people didn't ask for this. All right. Black males certainly didn't ask for this. Now, the people that asked for this are these clowns over here in this damn picture, all right? These are the people that asked for all of this damn representation that you're getting, all right? Who wants to challenge the moral standards around transgenerational sex? That's who's re representing you. Just remember that, all right? Just remember that. And see, the other thing with DEI is you get all of these disingenuous arguments, all right? All of these cats trying to find some sort of equivalency, but it really never matches up because they haven't done their homework or they don't know what the hell they're talking about. So they're trying to find some kind of equivalency and it becomes a false equivalency. Like this guy points out, I'm still seeing posts of people uh, saying this guy, Anthony, uh, I'm still seeing posts of people saying people were OK with The Last Samurai, but not Assassin's Creed. This is not an appropriate comparison. Uh, people don't like it when you take Japanese stories and settings and randomly replace the protagonist with non-Japanese characters precisely. All right. So it gives the example of The Last Samurai. It was set when foreigners were in Japan. It doesn't replace Japanese characters. It's respectful to Japanese history and culture. It's loved in Japan. And Tom Cruise is not The Last Samurai. See, a lot of people uh, mistakenly believe that Tom Cruise's character is The Last Samurai, and he's not. All right. Versus what we get with all of this stuff. And they put Death Note, <laughs> yeah, Dragon Ball. I'm glad they included Ghost in the Shell because you guys know I have used that as an example many times. And then, of course, Assassin's Creed Shadow. It says set in Japan or based on Japanese source material, replace Japanese characters, doesn't or may not respect Japanese history slash culture. Controversial. Yeah. Yeah. All of these. All right. All of them, especially Ghost in the Shell. You guys know I've used that as an example many, many times. You know, because of the outrage that came when Scarlett Johansson played the major. Everybody was up in arms. How come this isn't a Japanese woman playing this character? How come this isn't a Japanese woman? The major is Japanese. What's going on here? And everybody, you know, was like, rightfully so. Me included. I was like, yeah, they should have cast a Japanese actress. You know? Now, the argument can be made. Maybe Ghost in the Shell doesn't get off the ground. Maybe it doesn't become as popular or whatever without Scarlett, you know, being the lead actress in this. Possibly you can maybe make that argument and I would listen to that argument. All right. But nevertheless, the controversy was there and everybody was up in arms about it. People understood it. Yeah, they were calling it what? Ghost in the Shell's whitewashing. That's what they called it. Does Hollywood have an Asian problem? That's what they were doing. That's what they were saying. So you ask, well, what's the difference between this and a race swapped Ariel from The Little Mermaid? What's the difference? Oh, oh, no, no, no. See, it's OK when we do it. You know, like that's basically what it comes down to. Right. It's OK when we do it. It's all right for us to be, you know, the, the race swapped character to switch up our race into somebody else. I bet you there wouldn't have been as much controversy if a black woman had been the major. They probably would have been perfectly fine with that. Oh, what you got a problem with it, though? But when it's Scarlet, oh, no, big problem. I have a problem with it all. All right. See, that's the thing. I'm consistent. 
I don't want any race swaps. Get as close to the original as humanly possible. And again, in the case of this stuff, all right, Assassin's Creed Shadow, hey, let's depict if, it, if it's going to be based on some sort of historical information, then let's show it how it really would have been. You know, Yasuke, this big six foot two black guy running around Japan and all this other kind of stuff as a samurai just wouldn't have made any damn sense. All right. It doesn't make any sense. It's done purely for the message. And you can try to go on Wikipedia. Let's update the history real quick. You can try to do all of that all you want to. All right. But logically, it just doesn't follow. All right. People are like, mm, smells like bullshit to me. All right. Smells like utter bullshit to me. And this, again, seems like some more pandering crap. And then that's the problem with it always. All right. It's just pandering to the message, to the agenda of DEI instead of actually, you know, jumping in and doing some real diversity, which is what I, I think if you really cared about like this diversity stuff, you would say, hey, let's go deep into the African lore. And let's show it what it is. All right. And let's dig into some histories that we never explore and let's give the world a broader view of all peoples. Not we're going to take a black guy, shove him in there, done. All right, we did it. We did our damn diversity. Let's move on and do what we want to do or whatever. You know, that's what it comes down to. It just feels disingenuous, phony and fake. Yeah, the, but these clowns are completely fine with Tom Cruise, the last samurai. See, again, these disingenuous baloney arguments. All right. Like, yeah, they don't really understand the movie then. That's the real issue. Uh, wasn't The Last Samurai about the Japanese guy he was friends with, not the white dude? Yes, that's exactly what it was. But see, they haven't done their homework, man. They don't know what they're talking about. Uh, people get Ghost in the Shell wrong, too. I can only assume they're unfamiliar with the original works. When I watched the anime film, I did not I did not think her android body was Japanese. And in one scene in particular, it is very obvious. Agreed. I think the major issue with this one was that it could have been a Japanese actress in the lead role, but wasn't exactly. That's where the controversy was, not in the quality of the film, where the quality of the film was kind of, uh, eh, as well. But no, that's exactly where the controversy was. That could have been a Japanese actress getting an opportunity. Why are you taking that opportunity away from a Japanese actress and handing that over to this white chick? That's basically what people were upset about, the whitewashing, you know? And yeah, so yeah, that was the controversy. Uh, I enjoyed jo Ghost in the Shell, but yeah, it was weird that so few were Japanese. I suppose that could be chalked up to future immigration, though. Uh, I think the main issue was that the major, uh, Kusanagi Makoto, was played by Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson is a fine actress, but the controversy surrounding this was that she was playing a Japanese character. They didn't even change the name of the character. Uh, this is not a reflection of the quality of the film, by the way. I'm merely expressing that the choice of actress was controversial. Again, I agree. That was the, that was the problem, okay? Yeah, what did they call it? They called it whitewashing. That's what they called it. We're not going to, uh, you know, cast a, you know, Asian actress. You know, we're going to cast this uh, white woman. And that's the problem that they had then. But they don't have a similar problem now when it comes to Yasuke. Oh, oh no, 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 no. P completely fine when you're doing it in the other direction. Again, it's bullshit. It's bullshit. It should be, hey, we're telling a Japanese story. We're going to use Japanese protagonists, all right? We we don't have an Asian problem, no. We we feel perfectly comfortable with having two Japanese protagonists. We don't have to insert and shove and force a black guy into this story. No reason to do that. Plenty upon plenty of real-life Japanese samurais that they could have used from that period of time so that we could dive in, you know? But yeah, I mean, this is what they want to do, all right? They just want to go ahead, double and triple down on the DEI crap. I guess that checks off all the boxes so they can get the ESG money. And, you know, that's what they want to do. I don't understand why, you know, this has become a thing, you know, where it's all right just to diminish other cultures in favor of one culture. Makes no sense. I'm the type of person, black as I am, I want to see all kinds of cultures represented. I want to see all the cultures of the world shown. And, and I don't feel like we got to come in and take over one thing or another thing. Hey, let's just have it all the way across the board. Show me yours. I'll show you mine. Like that kind of thing. Right. But anyway, folks, y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation. Again, Elon Musk had it right. All right. Let's go back to the top. Uh, yeah. DEI is killing art. This is the reason why these Hollywood and these uh, video games uh, companies, they're struggling. They're struggling big time because they don't know how to do this stuff anymore. They don't know how to do art to make it interesting and entertaining at the same time. All they know how to do is, hey, man, we got a message we got to push. 
All right. We got a gay black samurai we got to put in the game. So we just doing that and, you know, cross our fingers. We hope y'all still buy it. Yeah, I don't think so. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Jump down in the comments. Give me your thoughts and opinions on that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.